Hello, just a little simple video is going to talk about GameCube and Wii games on the Steam Deck. So the Steam Deck is around the corner, it is coming soon. Some like reviewers and tech bloggers have, you know, got their hands on it. Got mine on order. It did say, uh, I think mine's going to be the second batch of them. Even though I ordered within like the first hour or something, like even, even less than an hour. And but even then, like the demand for it was crazy. But like GameCube and Wii games, we're going to be able to play them on the Steam Deck. Dolphin Emulator posted this video two days ago on their Twitter channel. And it is clearly a Steam Deck. It is a bit blurry, but it is a Steam Deck. And they've got you know a game running on it so and this does not not surprise me at all because the steam deck valve have you know said multiple times it is essentially just a pc they currently they may change their mind but they currently have no steam deck exclusive games they may have steam deck you know optimized games and i think that will happen from certain developers certain big developers some developers might even make certain titles that are oriented at steam deck but like essentially it is just a pc so yeah people are thinking can you run emulators yes you can there, there, there's no reason you can't it has linux on there they said you can install windows on there and they'll let you do that it is optimized for their version you know their linux and you know the you know what they have with their steam os so it, it works best for that and they have a proton for a layer layer called proton which essentially allows you to play you know through kind of an emulation layer play windows stuff so you'll be able to play even if there ain't a linux version but dolphin does have a linux version and you can play gamecube and wii games stuff like ps1 nes snares n64 that sort of stuff i don't see a problem with that's gonna run silky smooth the interesting part is stuff like dolphin pcsx2 for ps2 emulator or pcs3 for ps3 and the thing is what makes it even more interesting is because i know there's those other you know machines out there that are 1500 pound easily a grand plus but some of them 1500 pound handheld machines like the was the aiden i can't remember what the name was again and they work great but they're expensive this is less than half the price that's like a third of the price and you know the entry level model is and i think i believe you'll be able to play gamecube wii game i think pretty smoothly ps2 games smoothly and i think we may even get some rpcs3 and that's with and i think that will be without any optimization if this console does well and the rpcs3 team chooses to which i think they will if it does well it will get updated to be optimized for you know the steam deck and that will just obviously just create a network effect because more people will be on it, more people will develop for it, more people will update their you know, engines, their games, their emulators for it. So yeah, it, it is official based on this image. GameCube and Wii games will be working or the Dolphin emulator is working on the Steam Deck and I think they're going to run smooth. That's my hypothesis. They're going to run smooth. PS2 games, I think they're going to run well. And at that price point as well, that's the beauty of it. I know there's some handhelds about, because I've got a, a Retroid Pocket 2 Plus here. Nice little system. Do like it. But, I mean, for PS2 games, it does struggle. And I thought about buying some of those other systems about the sort of one to £200 price point. But then like, I've got this on order. Wait till I get this. I'll see what this one's like. And I, I have high hopes for it. And I think they might even be able to do PS3 on the RPCS3 emulator. And that will be really exciting, especially at that price point. And some people are thinking, how are they going to handle motion controls? There's a lot of inputs there. They obviously got the conventional controls. You've got the back triggers as well. The ones like over here. You've got the touchscreen. You've got that little touchpad thing. So I think definitely the pointer you could even do with the touchscreen or the touchpad. The motion, I'm pretty sure it had motion built in. So, I mean, I guess you could do motion in it or just emulate it via one of them. So, like, the maybe the main screen is the pointer. The other one is essentially the, like, gestures. So, if you swipe in, you know, the Wiimote left or right or... And also, you've got to think about... So, if we go into an image of Steam Deck... Because they do have two, you know, touchpads one could be the Wiimote like this one for example and this one could be the nunchuck so they can go down that route the screen could be the pointer 
this could be the motion of the nuts, the Wiimote, or vice versa. And this could be the motion of the nunchuck. So I think there's plenty of inputs to get it going because it's gonna have Bluetooth. You'll be able to, you know, either in portable mode or hook it up to your, that's, that's gonna be another great thing, is I've got a portable, let's say portable, but like a small PC connected to my TV. And I mean, I use it now and again, I've got Linux on it. And it's like, it's just, Finding more hassle than it's worth just to turn that on and you know get stuff, you know get a keyboard connected and do stuff. Or even with the controller, it's just find out it's just too much hassle. With this, especially when the Steam the Steam Deck dock comes out, you could literally plug it in, you know, plug it, you know, connect some PS4 controller to it and <laughs> Xbox controller to it and just play an emulator. Play obviously games will work, but emulator. I think that's where. I am really excited by it, by that, you know, aspect. And yeah, I think this is going to be good. And obviously with that, you could connect your Wii mode to it. I don't see why not. You could, you know, you could effectively do that because it's got Bluetooth. So yeah, it was a longer video than I was planning on, you know, making it, but it was some good news. And hopefully I get my Steam Deck as soon as possible. I'm going to test it out, create loads of videos and upload them. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. And if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.